Good evening, this is Zachary from Zachary Sweeps. I hope you're all having a, having a lovely evening tonight and I hope you've had a great day today. Um, what I'm doing today is I'm doing a follow-on video from the, the video that I did about uh, how you could save hundreds of pounds on, your, on, on logs uh, by d uh, doing them two simple steps. Um, if you haven't watched that video, check it out. It's, um, trust me, if you do then two simple steps, you'll save yourself a lot of money. What I want to do today is I want to follow on from that video. And basically this video is all about wood burning stoves and how you can save thousands. And I'm talking thousands from uh, stove installations. You'll be amazed of how much money a lot of companies will overcharge you for stove installations. The first, one, the first one is that your timing of the year when you get it done. There's always a bad time of year between September and January to get a wood burning stove installed. Um, I wouldn't recommend it, um, but obviously if, you, if it's the, that time of year that, that you want to get it done, then um, you know it's that time of year um, we all when we want something we want it we don't want to be waiting until after the winter when the weather starts to warm up so um, if you get it done between January and August you're going to save a lot of money and I mean a lot of money there's people advertising on my local Facebook page in my area at the moment for stove installations for £1,500 and less, £1,200. And that includes the stove, the liner kit, the liner obviously, register plate and fitting. And the reason why they can do that is because they overcharge you massively in the winter time because the demand is so high. It's like the prices of cars, prices of houses, it's all, it's all manipulated, the whole market. And um, what you can do is you can save yourself so much money by, if you're gonna get a wood burner, uh, get it done now. That's what, all I would say. It's like, like when I say you get your wood, get it now. You can pick the best and you get it for great prices because after Christmas, you can get wood burners fitted really cheaply compared to before Christmas. And the reason being is because they don't have the custom like they have around from September onwards. It is basically just, um, you can imagine, they get calls, everybody wants them done, and um, so they can just name their price. I used to be a fitter for over 15 years, and I um, was fully qualified, and we didn't have any competition really around my local area. And you could name your price. People who just wanted them fitted. So that's the first part. To get it done between January and August. So if you're thinking about doing it and, um, and you could put up with another winter, because I think it's probably going to be a wet one like it was last year, then get it done after Christmas. The other thing I would say to you is that it, it's, it's, it's kind of a myth that you need to have like a certain registered associations fitting your wood burning stoves. You don't have to have that. And then a lot of people don't know this and it's very sad that they don't know this. But basically what happens is that um, you have people that um, they get these appliances fitted. I'm just gonna push my camera down because there's someone coming along. And basically you get people that um, they feel like they have to go to these certain associations to get these the stoves installed. And what happens, it's not true. You can have your local builder install your wood burning stove. Um, all you need to do is get um, the building inspector from the council to come around and sign it off. And they charge, I think it's about 200, 250 pounds to do it. If you're gonna go down that route, then that's, that's one of the cheapest options to do it. Because what will happen there is um, they'll sign it off for you and then and then it's all uh, above board with your insurance and then you'll, you'll sort it. 
you don't have to pay this uh, uh, silly amount of money the other thing I was going to say is that you can buy all this stuff online yourselves most of this, the, the, the uh, stove installation people that's where they buy all their gear they buy it from the same places as you you can there's no stopping you going to this direct to the manufacturers of any particular brand and getting a, the product sent to you I, 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 uh, when I used to do a lot of stove installations I used to use one company and they're called Stoves R Us, an amazing company and basically they, what they do is they do like a liner kit and it's a liner kit and it basically comes with a liner the pot hanger, the adapter to, to connect it to your pipe on the wood burner, the register plate and a bird guard but the bird guard is all connected to the pot hanger to connect to the pot so you, basically you can buy the whole unit from the, from the chimney pot right the way down to the wood burner and the plate that goes, the register plate that goes across underneath inside the builder's recess which is the brick square opening where the wood burners normally go you can do this, it, it's great, it's absolutely amazing so what you can do as well is you can, you can buy the uh, all this stuff online so uh, to get a liner kit it would cost you you would be looking around 280 pound plus fat for a 10 meter liner kit and that comes with everything and that's from a company like Stoves R Us and there's lots of other companies out there you've just got to go online and you can get uh, all this stuff easily and it's delivered free as well whereas a lot of other companies there they will charge you to have these products when they're delivered to them they will charge you to deliver it to your house to install it and they probably charge you a thousand pound just for the liner when you can get the whole kit 280 pound plus fat 45 to 95 pound plus fat for the pot hanger uh, you know 45 pound for the for the adapter that goes from a six inch liner to a five inch uh, adapter depending on what size uh, wood burner that you go for these things um, it's amazing the money that you can save like so then once you've got that the liner kit all you're looking for after that is you're looking for your wood burning stove so with wood burning stoves basically excuse the train it's a London to Brighton train it's actually running which makes a lovely change it's been running quite frequently recently so basically what you need to do is um, you can go online you can look around you can you can well, you can get a wood burner you can either get a wood burner for four or five hundred pounds depending on what your budget is or you can get a wood burner for a thousand fifteen hundred pound depending on what sort of style room you've got but if you think about it even if you spent 1500 quid on a, on a wood burner and then you spent 280 pound plus that for um so what's that 280 20 percent so that's what so we say we're talking just an overall figure of 1850 pound for the liner kit the liner the register plate and the wood burning stove that's how much you'll be paying for and then to get someone to come out and fit it for you like a builder or you, uh, the, obviously one that's done it before because I, I know loads of builders in my local area that have been doing these sort of things before so basically what you can do is you can like um, you can basically uh, you know ask about the, there's a lot of people out there that they do um, you know there's, there's a lot of uh, people that are, like, are ex-fitters things like that that they actually do all this sort of stuff so you can you can you can speak to them and um, then you can basically charge them for for the labor for the day or two days however long it takes them to to do it so realistically you could be looking at like two and a half to uh, three thousand pounds for a top of the range wood burning stove if you really wanted to budget and you've, you've only got like sort of 1500 quid, two grand as a budget, it's, it's very simple. You know, all you need is the, the liner kit um, and that's all you need. Then after that, you, all you need is um, 
have a have the liner kit fitted then look around for a wood burning stove that is about four or five hundred pound and, and then after that you know they get someone to come along and they charge you sort of um, four or five hundred pound for a day's work uh, them and their mate you can get it signed off by the council as I said it doesn't have to be signed off by an association like most people uh, assume straight away obviously make sure that, that they've done that they've got the experience there's a lot of ex fitters out there that will do the work for you and uh, basically do the work for you and then what they would do is that they would um, and then they then what I'd recommend is if you're going to go down that route then what I'd recommend is that what you want to do is you want to be basically um, go along and um, when you install it what you want to do is you want to install it so that there is um, only three quarters of it done you don't want it all done you don't want it all installed you just want three quarters of it installed and then then what will happen is the inspector will come out and then he'll check it out for you and then what happened after that once he's checked it all out for you then what happens after that is it, you know you, you you finish off never ever uh, do the whole job in one go never do that it's, it's just not worth doing that you always want to do three quarters of the job get the, the the building inspector around then he can have a look he can have a look inside the chimney he can see all the work that you've done and then after that, uh, then you can complete the job and then he'll give you a certificate, say that, the, 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 that this is a safe appliance to use. And then you'll get charged back 200, 250 quid. So like, I'm talking about like if you had a, wanted an £8,000 stove installed, you could get it done for two and a half to £3,000. If you wanted to get like a, you know, four to £5,000 stove installed, you could get it done for like probably 1500 quid to 2000 pound very, very very it's amazing the money that you can save and so many people just aren't aware of this they they, they feel that they 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 have to go to these certain places some insurance companies say they guide you in certain directions you know like um and it's 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 all it's all like um it's all not tr true and it's crazy and I see it all the time. I go around people's houses that have spent £8,000. You know, they've had to get loans that they're going to be paying for the next five, six, seven years just so they, they could have a wood burning stove fitted. And it is such a shame. I, I used to fit them all the time. I don't do them as much as I used to now, um, basically because I've got a shoulder injury. But I, I still do a lot of chimney work. Um, and, um, and, and what I used to do was I used to get all my stuff from... From stoves are us get it all delivered to the, the customer's house get them to pick a, a stove get them to, to get it delivered to the house because that's free of charge as well and then and then come along and then charge them whatever the price would be 350 500 quid it'd be a day's work if it needed opening up to back to the builders recess if depending on what sort of style property it is if it's a Victorian house when they built the Victorian houses, they already had, before they put the fireplaces in, they built the houses with a builder's recess. Then they put build the, the chimneys, fireplaces in afterwards. That's what they do. So when you take a fireplace out, you'll look at, because a lot of people make this mistake, even in cottages and all sorts, where they'll, they'll open up, the, they take the fireplace out, and they'll look behind and they'll see all these really nice bricks, this nice brick pillar going across, at the top like a lintel shape but in, in, a, in a sort of a, a half moon shape and they'll look at it and they go oh this must be the original fireplace and I've done videos on that before where they've gone out they bought a grate put it in there and it doesn't work because there's, there's a bit of maths uh, but the way that the, 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 the chimney has to be like either 8 by 8 inches or 9 by 9 inches things like that so what they do is they uh, they make the fireplace opening at a certain height so once they do that, then um, that's what happens. They make the fireplace opening, the, the, the certain dimension to the chimney itself. So if it's eight by eight inches, it's, it's cal uh, calculated. So otherwise it won't draw. So if you open a fireplace up in an old property and then you put a grate in there, then what will happen is you put the grate in there 
and then and it, it won't draw up in the chimney you have to raise it up make like put bricks under i can imagine there's quite a few people out there that have actually done that sort of thing and um but for, for a wood burner it will sit in there perfectly and remember when you buy the wood burner it will come with a one meter length pipe free with it they always do so you won't you'll only have to make two purchases when you're when you're getting your um, products the liner kit and the wood burner and then you've got to get someone to come and fit it for you as i said there's a lot of builders out there or ex fitters out there that will come and do it for you and then you can get it signed off from the council and you can save yourself thousands absolute thousands you'll be surprised how much money you can save just go on on online and check it out that's all i'd say i've i've i've, I've fit my own wood burners I, I would never ever ever go to a company to get it done obviously if you don't if you're not confident enough and i'm not saying that the companies that do do the work aren't capable of doing it they're very much capable of doing it but I'm saying that the prices are spiraling out of control at the moment. And if you want to have one and you just think that there's just no physical way I can afford one, then that is the best way of doing it. So remember, you don't have to be a member of an association. You can get the council to sign them off. They charge you a certain amount of money. You can check that out as well. You can buy all the, all the stuff you need online. Two, two uh, products you need to buy as i said the liner kit you obviously need to get a chimney sweep to come probably the chimney sweep's the best person to speak to he'll come out he'll sweep the chimney check it all out for you he'll measure you can get him and say can you measure the chimney please and he'll when he sticks his brush out the top of the chimney he'll know how high your chimney is on, on average an, an average house is between 30 to 36 feet so if you do these things you will save yourself thousands don't get sucked into this ideology that that you have to pay vast amounts of money to have these appliances fitted it is, it is not true at all they are very very simple to do as well there's not much uh, maths involved in it obviously if you're going to have a twin wall flue pipe system you know they have to be a certain height above the chimney you can find all this information online the building inspectors are fantastic from the councils. They'll really help you out. Um, you know, they're, they're, they're really good. They, they Obviously, they sign off a lot of them. I go to people's houses that they fit them themselves and they get them signed off. But if you're going to go down that road, what you mustn't do is you mustn't do the whole job. Then get them to come out to sign it off. They don't like that. They do three quarters or nearly all of it, but just don't do all of it so that they can see what's being done. If they can't see what's being done, then they're not going to sign it off. So just do three quarters of it. They'll go, yep, yeah, you, all you've got to do is this, this and this. And then they might even want to come back, make sure that you've done that, that and that. Which is like put the cover on and a few other simple bits. And then we'll sign it off for you. And it is amazing. You think of the money that you can save. Check it out online. Have a good look. Do a bit of research. Add it all up. You know, go on the, the council's website find out about all this it's amazing so if you want to save yourself thousands on installations then i strongly recommend uh that uh, you heed my words and um, and and look into it have a great evening it's fantastic here but it's so so busy it's like being up in the high street it's just incredible i know everybody's had a hot day today but i've had to stare at the, the camera in the hedge I mean, it's like it's busier than my high street, but I'm not going to complain because it could be raining. But um, I think what I'm going to do, if I do any videos, any more tip videos, which because I love walking through the woods doing them, I'm going to do it sort of early Sunday morning and stuff like that from now on. But I really wanted to tell you about this one. So um, have a great evening and um, take care from Zachary, from Zachary Switch.